Now in this video, we're gonna go through net worth in decades. So your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 65 plus. And then at the end, we're gonna see if the everyday Australian can actually retire with their net worth. So your 20s, a time full of partying, independence, and work. Now, if you've done the math and you've figured out your own net worth and you've only come out to a flat zero, guess what? You're doing better than the average 20 year old in the Australian society today. And this is because, and get this, the average Australian is worth a total of negative $2,430. Now this might be shocking to you, but you also have to consider the average 20 year old has gone to uni. And the Australian parliament recorded in the year 2020 that the average person going to uni has an average debt of $23,280, which is an astonishing figure as the average 20 year old in Australia, if they sold everything they own, they would still be in debt. So let's move on to your 30s. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you're not doing too much better as you come in at a whopping net worth of $31,025. Now, I might be a bit disconnected, but I'm not too impressed by these figures. I actually think they're pretty poor. But let's compare it to something for you to decide whether or not this is a good or a bad figure. And where better else to start than the Australian dream to own your own property. And the figures can be disputed with what you need to put down for a deposit. But for this video, let's go for a 20% deposit in your major cities around Australia. With the cheapest city to live in as of 2021 in Australia being Perth, an average 20% deposit on a house in Perth is going to set you back $119,720. Just over four times the average net worth of the everyday Australian. And that's the cheapest city in Australia. What about the most expensive city in Australia? Now we all know what the most expensive city in Australia is. But for people that are watching and don't know what it is, it's Sydney. And a 20% deposit in Sydney is gonna set you back $299,825. This is over nine and a half times the net worth of the everyday Australian. So we now have the cheapest city in Australia and the most expensive city in Australia. But we're comparing the average Australian. So shouldn't we compare the average Australian against the average home? Well, the average net worth on a home is actually split between two cities. The first one being Hobart. Now Hobart's gonna set you back $139,642 for 20% down. And Brisbane's gonna set you back $140,491 for 20% down. These both come in at over four and a half times the average net worth of the everyday Australian, which really isn't a surprise for the everyday Australian. And this is because of Australia's current housing crisis. Anyway, enough doom and gloom. Let's move on to our 40s. And you might be thinking we're not doing too shabby because in your 40s, you're going to be worth a total of 97425 bucks. You might be thinking that's pretty good with the added benefit that the average Australian owns a home by the age of 36. And so you're thinking to yourself, I own a home, on average, I'm worth 97,425 bucks. What could be wrong? Let's see if I can change your perspective on those numbers. Now, I believe it would be pretty safe to assume that even at 20 years old, you tried to put away some sort of money. You're trying to grow some sort of wealth in your life. So you're now being a part of the labor force for 20 years. So what do you have to show for it? 20 years worth of work. Well, at the end of the day, on average, each year you put away $4,871. Now this number doesn't do too much for us on its own. So let's compare it to the average Australian wage. And the average Australian wage comes in at $51,389. Now if you put these two figures together, you can interpret that the average Australian is saving 9.5% of their income. That means by the age of 40, you have put away on average 9.5% each year. For me personally, I find this data very insightful. So I'm gonna use it for the rest of the video and I'm gonna to refer to it as year on year growth because each year you're growing and growing your wealth. Your 50s, we're finally moving. We're in the six figure bracket. You now have $194,850. And hey, you can sell everything you have and now you'll have enough money to put down that 20% deposit on the average Australian home in Brisbane. But let's face it, you're 50. You've been in the labor force for 30 years now. You're at the peak of your professional career. So it's no wonder that you're in a six figure net worth bracket. And we know that our savings rate in our 40s was $4,871. So what's changed? Well, now your average savings is coming in at $6,495. This is a $1,624 increase on your year-on-year -year growth when it comes to your savings rate with an average percentage of 12.63%, up 3% from your 40s. Time has flown and we're now in the 65 plus bracket. Now you're getting ready to retire or you've retired already. 
But can the average Australian actually retire? Or is retirement now a luxury? Well, the average net worth of someone over 65 is $290,975. It's actually pretty decent. So let's get into some year-on-year -year growth statistics. Now at 65 or older, you've increased your savings rate by $3,102 or 6%. Life is going well. Your savings rate is now $8,313 or just over 16%. Now you're probably wondering, why can someone in their 60s save more money than someone say in their 40s or 50s? And that's because of compound interest. Compound interest is something that famous investor Warren Buffett likes to call the eighth wonder of the world. And this is because over time, the interest that you earn on your investment compounds on one another, but I'll save that for another video for another day. Let's get back onto the question at hand. And that question is, is retirement still an option for the everyday Australian? Well, let's do the math. The average Australian life expectancy is 82.9 years. But for the ease of math, let's just round that up to 83 years. That means from the age of 65 to 83, we have 18 years. So we have 18 years of retirement, $290,000 worth of money, but it's got to last that whole entire time. So let's break it down. And we're going to make some assumptions. We're going to assume that this average Australian knows average investing strategies and is able to secure themselves a 6.5% return on their investment. Now, I know this might open up the comment section and say that's unrealistic or that is way too conservative. And I'll completely respect those opinions, but for the case of this video, I am going to use the rate of 6.5% return on investment. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us with a 65 year old person living out their days to 83 with only earning $17,500 in annual income. Now, do you believe you could retire and live comfortably on $17,500? Now, remember, that's if you die at the age of 83. For every year that you live beyond 83, reduce the annual income that you're gonna have by $750. So do you believe the average Australian can retire? Leave your responses down in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. I'm Thomas, this is Accountability. And if you found today's video insightful, I would really appreciate if you smash that like button down below. I'll wait.